Happy weekend, everyone. Already it's February. Let's see how things look out west. You look at Memphis, and after a subpar season, there have been some questions about the direction of this franchise. And checking out the opening lineup for Memphis. Morant and Brooks, the backcourt. Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. And it's Anderson in at the three, the small forward. The ball, and a strong finish with two hands. Now look, you see the athleticism right there? You gotta like watching ball go into the lane to finish. Moran against Ball. Jackson with a screen on Ball. And then Moran with oh, the dunk! Man. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Oh, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. Just an intelligent play by DeRozan. Takes full advantage of the open gap in the defense. And defying the analytics trend, DeRozan's favorite shot still remains the mid-range jumper. I mean, they've tried to stretch him out with uneven results. Maybe better to surround him with three-point shooters, create space in the medium range area to maximize his effectiveness. Count the basket. John Morant. Morant's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, working through the lane, Morant uses change of speed to, to keep the defenders at bay. Outside Johnson. Pass to Levine. Vucevic, a screen on Jackson. Inside, tries the nine-footer. Vucevic's shot is off. That's the only way to hold him in check. He's got it inside. You gotta have a body on him right away. To the paint. Outside Morant. Here's Jackson. He's covered by Levine. With the fadeaway. The shot off that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They traveled to Memphis last time they faced the Grizzlies. Came away with a win. They won the last game against these guys because of their shooting. You see the work that he has put in in this three-point shot. Now a legit threat from deep. At around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Jackson with a screen on ball. Pass to Adams to the middle. Here's Jackson, and he's in the books. Now one for two. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Yes, he had very little resistance. I mean, he had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Levine. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Because he's so dangerous, the D is often drawn to Levine. I mean, it, it opens up some wide passing lanes. Brooks outside. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Jackson, drilled from 11 Jerry feet out. Jackson Jr. Jackson's gotten his second bucket of the game. Time They've hit four the of their first five shots. Great execution and attention to detail. Some changes for Chicago. Bradley, he's checked in for Vucevic. Williams comes in for Johnson. And it's White in for Ball. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Tillman's checked in for Adams. Clark comes in for Jackson. Williams is checked in for Anderson. And it's Bain in for Brooks. Now here's Williams. Six on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Two Bradley. In the first. Oh, he Two missed minutes. the layup. He had it with the pump fake. The Grizzlies have gone four to five so far. Looking sharp. Let's it go from 11. Here's Bain. Kicks it out to Clark. Morant with a screen on Williams. Right side Morant from the arc. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. And talking end of season awards, Chris, for Defensive Player of the Year, why do you think no guard has won it since Gary Payton in 96? Well, because no guard has been as intense as Gary Payton. There's never been a defensive point guard like Gary Payton. You kind of have to know Gary to understand how crazy he is to want to defend the best guards 94 feet per night. But Gary Payton is just a special player. And, uh, it's going to be hard to see players have that impact uh, in the game. The Grizzlies have gone 5 of 8. Solid opening quarter for them. 
Outside Moran. Takes it inside. Sinks another one. He's on a roll. Starting four for four. It's all clicked into place for him this quarter. He's not missed a single shot. Williams on the wing. To the inside with a nine-footer. Williams grabs the board. Memphis leading. Here's Bain. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Tillman misses. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Here's DeRozan. And he makes it on the layup. This guy just knows how to finish. DeRozan keeps his focus on the basket and delivers. 27 seconds left in the opening quarter. White against Moran. And he drives in. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Pass to Bradley. Yes, great play by DeRozan to set him up. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Outside Moran. Here's Williams. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And so the first quarter comes to a close. Both teams scoring well, but it's all tied. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break. so far well clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude oh yeah love the ball movement so far everything clicking at the offensive end. on the court for the Grizzlies Brooks and Anderson filling out the perimeter Jackson jr. and Adams together inside and it's Jones in at the point and we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block you know you can't ask for any better defense than that he responded so fast to the shooter and it stifled him Here's Jones. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. And here's Jackson. Shot clock at six. Into the lane. And the dunk by Jackson. Okay, flushing it off the dribble. Man, Jackson Jr. is tenacious. Chicago trailing here. Well, you hear the term wingspan more and more. You look at Jared Jackson Jr., 6'11". This is height, 7 foot 4. Fingertip to fingertip. That's his reach. And that reach enables him to be a major factor in this. It's Brown on the wing. Anderson covers. Brown passes to Vucevic. Up top ball. Outside Jones. Down low. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Outside Jones. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. And it's slammed in by Adams. And whenever Adams is aggressive on offense, it helps big time, especially when he's dunking it hard inside. And in the past, we've heard the Chris Bosh comparisons for Jared Jackson. See Webb, you buying that? Yeah, I see some similarities. Yeah, Jackson is range with the 6'11 with a nice face up game. Bosch, maybe Serge Ibaka. Good comparison. Jones with the ball, guarded by Vucevic. Outside Jones. Adams inside. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Jones drives in. And the powerful one-handed slam. 
impressive one hand slam right there. Oh, man, man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. And here's a rundown of the teams that have not wasted their opportunities at the line in the last month. Number one, the Bulls. And looking at last month, this team really got it done from a charity strike. Whenever you foul them, they made sure to make you pay for that mistake. Three-pointer, Brooks. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Chicago shooting 69%. I think they're even surprising themselves out there. Pass to Caruso. Now here's Vucevic. Drives to the hoop. And the power finish by Vucevic. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this time? Here's Brooks. The Bulls making their last shot. Let's it go from 11. Rebound by the Bulls. Credit to Deep for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover down though. To the paint. Jones misses. Well, we talk about the value of great rim protection. That's a shot he typically makes. And it's flushed Ooh, down. Good. A nice jam. What athleticism for Brooks. Right, you can't let him get this kind of positioning. You see why right there. Who wants the t-shirt? Make some noise. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Get up and get loud for the lovable. Line change here for Chicago. And a look at the stats for Ja Moran. Over his last 10 games, his three-point shooting has gotten a lot better. He looks very confident from deep. There's no doubt he's got the green light to shoot from his coaching staff. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Pass to Bradley. Two minutes. Right side, Levine. And it's Bain with the rebound. The Grizzlies have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Here's Williams from outside the arc. Williams grabs the board. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Levine. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. Agile play by Levine. I mean, finding his way around the contact to a shot. A minute 29 left in the second period. Pass to Tillman. Morant, no good. For Chicago, they've gone four for six here in the second. Yeah, and one thing that impresses me about John Morant is the leadership he exhibits. Loves the game, plays with toughness, and the results speak for themselves. And here is Williams. No good on the three. He's got to be mad at himself. He won't get a better look than that. DeRozan outside. Williams with the screen. It's DeRozan with a drive. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist by DeRozan. And it's all knotted up. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Here's Moran. And it comes off the front of the rim. Oh, you expect him to make those. They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. Going inside, Levine. And Levine throws it down. Sensation. Levine puts it on the deck and knocks it inside like this. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Bain. Clark with a screen on Levine. Here's Bain. Second chance shot. And that's two points on the layup. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. White, the pass to Williams. Here's the three. And they recover it. Another shot. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. At the line for Chicago. First one falls for him. Tony Bradley. Two shots. Good on both.
And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Bulls out in front. They're up. Thanks, guys. All right, good stuff, Allie. Welcome, everyone, to halftime. The Chicago Bulls find themselves in a good matchup here at the break. I have to applaud their offensive consistency. They're not wasting possessions or taking bad shots. That's a testament to their paces, their discipline. They're focusing on playing intelligent basketball. And with the playoffs approaching, let's take a glance. Again, it's kind of like an eclipse. Don't stare exactly at it, but let's look at the power rankings. Looking at the Bulls, they've done everything right this year, but guys, this is when the real work begins. When the postseason starts, they got to show they can handle the pressure and hit big shots. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Well, you got to like what John Moran has done in this game. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. Yeah, the offense looks crisp, and guys are hitting their shots. Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. Johnson is out there with Nikola Vucevic. And it's DeRozan in at the three spot. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Now here's Vucevic. He's got six. Outside Johnson. Vucevic, a screen on Adams. Here's Johnson. Adams grabs the miss. Memphis trailing here. Anderson with it. He's picked up by Levine. Anderson against Levine. Adams inside. Shoots over Johnson. And that one's long. And here are the Bulls now. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Here's Levine. Here's Vucevic. Two points. That one goes. Vucevic just got eight. A player that seemingly inhales rebounds. Vucevic attacks the glass with great energy. Pass to Anderson. Jackson outside. Adams with the ball. Averaging around five points a game. Adams a screen. Here's Moran. And give him another one. John He's Moran. six of eight and looking solid. And the three-pointer gaining prominence. Grant, that shot wasn't a big part of your game until later in your career. Why was that something you waited to develop? Well, over the years, the game had changed during my career. Early on, I didn't need it as Who's much in terms of how I played. Jared but at the end of my Jr. career, in more of a complimentary role, I had to be able to knock down three-pointers. And I did a pretty good job. At the line for Chicago. The first one falls. Brown, he's checked in for Chicago. Caruso comes in for Zach Levine. Jones, he's checked in for Memphis. And Johnson drops them both. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Adams. Now Brooks. On the take. Basket counts. Six points for him. Absolutely relentless. Steven Driving Allen. to the rim. Brooks wasn't going to be denied. Chicago leading. It's Brown on the wing. Vucevic, a screen on Anderson. Brown finds Vucevic. And he comes up with a bucket. He put the D, giving him a lot of attention. He's still finding ways to light him up. The Grizzlies have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Yeah, and when you look at Troy Brown Jr., his athleticism and finishing ability jumps out. I mean, he gets off the floor. Early. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Brown against Anderson. Up top, Vucevic. Up top, Brown. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Good work there as it goes. And Troy Brown Jr. has certainly shown flashes. Now he must focus on becoming more consistent. Yeah, no question. It's clear he has talent. Now it's time for him to pick up his intensity. He must continue to take advantage of the opportunities. Chicago making some changes. Williams has checked in for Johnson. 
Jones comes in for Brown, and it's White in for Ball. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Tillman's checked in for Adams. Clark comes in for Jackson. Williams is checked in for Anderson. And it's Bain in for Brooks. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass, really getting after it and being physical. Two minutes remaining in the third. White pass to Vucevic. Clark grabs the board. And the Grizzlies shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Bain. That one drops for him. Desmond Bain. Bain's got his second basket of the game. Identifying the weakness in the defense and exploiting it. For Chicago, they've gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Jones. Three-pointer off the mark. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game in Chicago. Pass to Williams. Now here's Clark. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Back to Jones. Just five on the clock. With the floater. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Vucevic has got his sixth rebound on the night. The three is up. And they get it back. On the wing, Jones. That one falls. Coming off the Vucevic feed. Jones has got five. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the arc, and he capitalizes. Here's Tillman, covered by Vucevic. Here's Jones, and it's Chicago with a board. Outside Jones. Here's Caruso. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Outside Jones. And he lobs it up to the rim. And stolen by Williams. From behind the arc. Jones' is shot is good. Jones has got six points in the quarter. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Yeah, yeah, no need to give the ball back here. And you want to close this quarter with momentum. And it's Clark on the take. It's good. Brandon Clark. Let's it go from deep. And so it's Chicago finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're yeah. pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, it'll make it to the film session. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. On the court for the Grizzlies. Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. Brooks and Anderson filling out the perimeter. And it's Morant in at the one. Trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. Anderson with a screen on ball. Morant. And then Morant with the dunk. What I love about Morant is that he understands his strength on offense. I mean, which is why he's efficient. The Bulls shooting the rock at 58%. DeRozan passes to Williams. There's Jackson with the three. It's hauled in by White. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Anderson against Levine. Hangs in the air. And it's DeRozan with the bucket inside. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Brooks against White. Brooks, the pass to Adams. And he throws it down with one hand. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. They needed that, and I love that he just didn't settle for the lane.
Williams misses. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. That's his great Ball defense, ball. forcing this man into a difficult Lonzo attempt. Ball. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Williams. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Taylor Jenkins had to say to his team. He asked his players to really push the tempo. He wants to see quicker transition into the open court so they have a chance to score before the defense can set up. Trying to use their speed to full advantage, guys. Thanks for that, Ali. For Chicago, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Levine passes to White. Here's Vucevic. And the power finish by Vucevic. Showing great quickness coming off the pick. White draws attention and feeds the rope. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. Now here's Moran. Jackson with a screen on ball. Steps back. Here's Moran. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. You can't lay off more. I mean, when he's roaming around the mid-range area, you know he's ready to fire. DeRozan outside. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Clock at six. Levine passes to DeRozan. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. He's just a solid oh, shot blocker. Oh, Jackson's timing and instincts is what allows him to make an impact like right there. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Moran against Ball. Outside Moran. Anderson with a screen on Ball. Here's Moran. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's on Zach Levine. So good at staying in attack mode now. When Morant is going at defenses, he forces them. Those are big free throws. Now they need some defensive stops. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Get up and get loud. 157 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And Levine, here we go. And Levine throws it down. Absolute wrecking ball in the drive. I mean, Levine is all about dunking it with the throw. Memphis, they're working against the clock now. Now here's Moran. Driving inside. And that one's good. Moran's got 21 points in the game. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. White can't hit. For Memphis, they've gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far on the fourth. Three-pointer, Brooks. And it's Chicago with the board. DeRozan passes to Levine. A minute 12 left in the fourth. Pass to Vucevic. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Williams is checked in for Chicago. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. If you want to see how efficient the offense is running, a great stat to look at is points off assist. And they've got a ton of assists throughout this game. Don't forget about their points in the paint either. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 I see it. Way, way up. That move is fire. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam capturing the moment. Ball outside. Pass to Vucevic. And Vucevic slams it in. You guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. Right, just a total team effort. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. 52 seconds left to play in the fourth. Morant, no good. Chicago with the ball. They've got a nine-point lead. Levine passes to Vucevic. Back to Levine. Now here's DeRozan. To the wing, right side. 
There's a screen. Ball finds DeRozan. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. And the Bulls lead by 11. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. And you know they are sure. I mean, come on. The finish line is in sight. All they have to do is play a smart. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Brooks from outside. Ball with the rebound. DeRozan outside. Pass the ball. On the wing, Levine. Offline with a three. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. With Chris Weber, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking you for watching tonight's game on 2K Sports. Now our New Balance player of the game, Nikola Vucevic.